y'all what's going on i know i look like a bum but it's all right welcome to day two of October. listen i wasn't even quite sure if i was gonna make it because i have a whole list of activities and different things i wanted to do but then i was like before i knew it i had not done any pre-recording and october was here i think it's about to rain i'm sitting outside so if you hear sounds it's because i'm out on the back porch i just needed to get out of the house because i work from home so i need to get out and breathe in some of this pollinated air but anyway we're gonna make a quick little cocktail and i'm just gonna tell y'all a little bit about um flocktober my way so i'm gonna make a smoky mezcal a smoky mezcal negroni i have my mezcal here um sweet vermouth campari simple syrup and the recipe actually calls for smoked orange slice i don't have orange slices however i do have herbs and if you know anything about me i'm all about putting herb in the cocktail so we're gonna smoke some rosemary or we're gonna try to smoke some rosemary but um i need to add some butane to my little torch here i have not added any so if y'all see it spray out or y'all hear me yelp it's because it's cold and it got on my hand so let's Okay. And I'm just adding some butane to my torch. And she's lit. All right, so <clears throat> like I said, I was not even sure if I was gonna make it because before I knew it, I hadn't had any pre-recorded stuff. And last year, that's what really helped me. <clears throat> pre-recorded, y'all excuse me for clearing my throat. I have allergies and they just, I lose my voice, my voice come back, then I had a scratchy throat. But anyway, that's neither here nor there, honey. So we're gonna make this cocktail. If you do not like cocktails that have earthy flavors um, and low amounts of sugar, this cocktail is not for you. It has um, simple syrup. I think it calls for an ounce of simple syrup. I found it on Pinterest um simple syrup a, a quarter of an ounce of simple syrup so it's this is not going to be a sweet drink at all you can uh, alter any of these ingredients to suit your taste buds but i'm going to do it the way that it calls that it's called for i'm going to go ahead and light this cigar while we talk <clears throat> this is did i bring my glasses out here i did this is um one of the um drunk chicken cigars she is based out of Maryland and which one is this? I don't know if this one has a name on it, but we shall see. And I probably won't get through a quarter of this cigar. It's the nest, just, it says drunk chicken. I don't remember the name of this one, so I'll have to look it up and tell y'all later, or I might try to just put it in the comments, in my um, description box, but I just gave it a little, I did a little punch. Oops, I got the cigar. Uh-oh, whoops. I'll just push that down. No, I won't. I thought I could slide that on down. I can vacuum it up, but it's just the end of the tobacco. Some of the tobacco fell through the hole on the table. But let's go ahead and light this. This one is really earthy. Oh, it's really earthy. Not bad, I need to get a glass though, so I can, I need to get a new ashtray. All right, so cigar is lit. Now let's talk about this cocktail or make this cocktail and chit chat a little bit. So I have a whole list of ideas, right? written down why am i doing blocktober because it's fun i actually did it last year i did it for the full 31 days last year <clears throat> and it worked out very well i was very surprised at myself at how um committed i was and how it actually helped me with my consistency so and that's one thing i'm really working on i'm working on my consistency trying to make sure that i at least post one video a week a few shorts i want to get to the place where i'm posting at least five shorts a week but vlogtober is really fun i love the fall i'm a summer baby but i love the fall 
So during this time of year, you got like fall festivals, wine festivals, pumpkin patch, apple picking, so at sunflower picking. So that is, you know, fun stuff to me. And so I want to share that with you. Oh, that's good. It's actually, it's very earthy. And I kind of get like, like a perfumey, cologne from it, something from it. It's good though. But that's why I am doing Vlogtober because it helps with consistency. It's fun. And although last year, I think when I was doing it, I was like, I really want to gain subscribers. That was my focus last year. And that was the wrong focus to have. The focus should never be doing videos to just gain subscribers. Right now I am trying to grow my, um, my subscribers. I want to reach a thousand. That is a goal, but the sole purpose for doing Vlogtober should not, for me, at least I say it shouldn't be to specifically do it just to gain subscribers. I want to do it to share things with you guys that I feel are fun and just, you know, just some ideas, some fall ideas. So let's get to making this cocktail, honey. So first thing we're going to do is this is a wine cup, wine cover that goes over the top of your wine glass um, to keep things away. Well, we're gonna use it because I don't have a an actual um, smoker. I'm gonna use it to cover while I smoke this rosemary and put it in a glass. So let's go ahead and get this rosemary smoked and we want the glass to have as much smoke in this as possible. And oh, I wish y'all could smell the rosemary. Oh my God, it smells amazing. This will be good on a grill too, charring it. So I'm hoping that I can actually get the rosemary to smoke so that I can trap it in the glass. I need it to get, oh God, it smells amazing. All right, so we're gonna trap the smoke in the glass. I'm gonna slide that. I thought y'all could see, but you really can't. All right, so then while that's doing that, I'm gonna move my torch over here. I'm gonna move all this extra stuff that I don't need out of the way. And I want the glass to get really, really smoky. So I need to get another glass so I can make the cocktail and pour it in that. Cause I want that glass to be super smoky. Y'all hold one second. All right, so we're just gonna use the mixing glass that I have here and we're gonna make the cocktail in this and pour it into the glass. We're gonna take the rosemary out. Moving too fast, I know. All right, so. In the glass, we are going to go ahead and just pour all of our ingredients. This is not a shaken, this is a stirred cocktail. So we're going in with one ounce of mezcal. With one ounce of Campari. This is what's gonna make it taste really not sweet and really earthy. This um, Campari, it is, it's, it's strong. It, it actually gives you a really, really earthy flavor. So I'm surprised that it calls for an ounce of both, but we're going with what it says, an ounce of Campari, and it gives you that really beautiful color. Look at that. Then it calls for three fourths ounces of sweet vermouth. This is the sweet vermouth that I have. And a quarter of an ounce of simple syrup all right y'all I'm back so my phone had too much stuff in it so I had to delete stuff because it stopped recording all right so we were at the simple syrup a quarter of an ounce of simple syrup and then all you do is stir it's, like I said it's stirred and not shaken and oh look it's still smoke coming out I don't know if y'all can see it but smoke was still coming out from the rosemary Oh, and it smells good. So I'm gonna, I should have, yeah, let's do it this way. Ew, where do I wanna put it? I'll just put it on here. I wanna get a real smoker though, cause I like smoked cocktails. All right, so then the next thing you're gonna do is add your ice and I'm using one of the ice spheres. I'm gonna pour that in there. And why am I making this? Because I said I was gonna make fall cocktails but I wanna do fall cocktails that, some fall cocktails that do not have the traditional apple, um, cinnamon, and um, pumpkin. So we're gonna smoke our rosemary again. Let me see if I can get closer to the camera. 
to show y'all that I'm smoking the rosemary. And there is the smoky mezcal Negroni. All right, and let's try it out. It smells really good. It smells really smoky and earthy. Oh, that's good. Wow, sweeter than I expected. But you definitely, that Campari, it's almost like eating an orange, tasting the rind of an orange or grapefruit. That's what it reminds me of. That's what Campari reminds me of. But anyway, um, the videos for, um, my cigar went out. The videos for, um, what is this, Blocktober? Okay, y'all, so we being grown. We having a grown girl drink and a cigar, or we being grown today. So, as I was saying, the videos are not gonna be super long because I'm not gonna try to do like 20 and 30 minute videos. Some of them may end up being that long, but for the most part, they're gonna probably range between 10 and 15 minutes. Um, just because I'm recording every day. And I watch a lot of videos with people saying that it's, you know, they're struck, they're stressed and they're frustrated with YouTube, they're gonna quit. And I've really thought about quitting too, but here's the thing. I had to remember why I'm doing it. One, because I wanna bring something to my family, my community, my audience, those of you who are here listening and watching and, you know, watching me and my craziness. I wanna bring something to you that's fun, something that sometimes is educational, but I want it to be something that, you know, is entertainment to you guys. And then some people are just looking for different things to do. And I want to be, what is it, the conduit to bring something to you that, you know, you might think you have not have thought about doing. So we're gonna go to, um, we're definitely gonna go picking apples and sunflowers and pumpkins. Um, we're just gonna do a variety of things. I'm gonna try not to repeat what I did last um, Vlogtober. Um, I might add that playlist just so y'all can see some of the things that I did last Vlogtober. Um, but I'm here because I'm loving my growing community and I just am enjoying the engagement that I have with y'all. So that is my purpose for doing Vlogtober and YouTube. This was, you know, really cool. I want to do more cocktails that don't have the traditional cinnamon, apple, and pumpkin in them. So that's why I cho chose this Mezcal Negroni. Cause this is definitely not something that I would drink in the summertime because it's a heavy, it's like really earthy and has a heavy flavor to me. Not so much light and airy and fruity. I just wanted to bring this to you and we don't know what we're doing tomorrow, but we're gonna do something. <laughs> so I'll see y'all tomorrow, tomorrow. I love y'all tomorrow. Vlogtober is here to stay for 31 days <laughs> actually it's less than 31 days now but um yeah 31 days of consistent posting Woo, girl but we gonna do it i'll talk to y'all tomorrow bye <laughs>